Mercedes-Benz have presented me with quite a problem. They tell me that their new intelligent drive system with pedestrian detect will bring their new E-Class to a complete stop if it detects that the vehicle will collide with a pedestrian and the driver won't respond in time. The only way to know whether they're right or not is test it on a real human being. The first thing we need to tell you is don't try this at home. This test is undertaken on a closed course with specialist trained staff. The safety system that we are testing is called Intelligent Drive, and this is how it works. Mercedes have mounted a stereo multi-purpose camera in the windshield next to the driver's rear view mirror. 17 times a second, it's taking an image. It knows direction of travel, speed of travel, and it's calculating all these algorithms. And if there's any risk of a collision, you'll get the audible beep beep. And that occurs 2.6 seconds before impact. Along with computer software, the system recognizes a pedestrian, cyclist, or vehicle. When driving, the computer constantly assesses the vehicle's surroundings. Mercedes tell us that the system can identify a potential collision. If the driver fails to react, the steering wheel vibrates. The car warns the driver with an audible alarm, and finally, 0.6 seconds before an imminent impact, the full auto brake system will bring the car to a complete stop. So now we've talked about it, we're going to test it in real life. Again, don't try this at home. We stood our senior producer, Sean Walker, in the road, and then at a speed of between 12 and 18 miles an hour, I accelerated towards him. The system worked, not once, but all seven times that we tried it. Our Mercedes E3 wagon came to a complete stop before a collision with a pedestrian. Now, this has never been tested on a real live human being until now, but we should caution you, do not try this at home. This was done under very specific circumstances. In a real world situation, this car could actually save lives. For Fox 5 Morning News, I'm Nick Miles.